hey guys what's up so today i'm going to start the core job programming which is very very important these days for any interview wherever you go for any interview always the first round would be core job programming written test that is these days it's mandatory so we need to be very strong in that right so today i will start with the pattern programs and i will show you couple of patterns how we can write the program for the patterns so before starting with the program this is brief about me i come from mechanical background and i work as a software engineer i am from bihar mujafferpur and i have my facebook page and youtube channel so you guys can subscribe me youtube channel you have very good playlist for all the topics which requires as an automation engineer and you have a github locations where you can get all my source code and for any query you can mail me to learnmybharanpratap@gmail.com or you can ping me on my uh, facebook page itself right so let me start with the program right what we will do today is we have this program we need to write this pattern through java how do we do that right simple program pattern program we need to print this kind of pattern how do we do that so uh, what i will do is i'll make a main method and after making a main method i what i did i just wrote m a i n control space bar click enter so i created a main method now we should write this kind of program right so if you look at the program pattern the first is 1 second is 1 2 third is 1 2 3 fourth is 1 2 3 4 so every time one uh, consecutive number is getting increased and we have till 7 so we need to print through java right so definitely what we have to use is we have to use a for loop right in the for loop we will write int i is equal to 1 why 1 because if you look at it is getting started from 1 then i less than is equal to 7 so why i am writing 7 because if you look at here your last data is 7 and what i why i did less than equal to because we need to print from 1 to 7 right so this loop should run 7 times right so to do that i have to do less than equal to if i'll do only less than then this loop will run only 6 time it will not run 7 time it will it will start from 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it will run only 6 time it will not run for 7 time so we have to do less than is equal to so that this loop will run 7 times then we can do i plus plus right after that what we need to do if we will print so let's say if i write syso and if i will print i data right it will not this program will not work out if you look at the output you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that you will get right but we need to have we need to have some handling mechanism where when i becomes 2 it should print 1 and 2 when i becomes 3 it should print 1 2 3 right which means we have clear cut indications of we need to write one more for loop right because there should be one more for loop and based on the i data the internal for loop should work so here we will write int j is equal to 1 right j less than what j less than i and then j plus plus so why i wrote this logic because internal for loop will be controlled by the external for loop so when i will be 1 right this loop will execute only one time because i am keeping that j less than i when i2 this loop will execute two times when i3 this internal loop will execute three times when i4 internal loop will execute four times right now when we print here syso right let's say if i'll print i here if i'll print i here right and after this loop so let's say what happens is okay first first let me run this and then we will see that so when i am running this that's how we are getting the output 2 right then 3 3 so instead of i did a mistake we need to print a j right and then i will tell you why we need to print a j now if you do run a java applications look at the output 1 then 1 2 right then 1 2 3 but the problem is it is getting printed in in the new line right so 
to re to to remove that we will remove the ln so as we know that when we keep ln it will get printed in the new line so now again go back to the logic try to understand the logic try to understand the algorithm so when j is equal to 1 and j less than i so first in the first loop when i is 1 it will come inside and when it will come inside so here we have to keep j less than equal to i so when it, when it will come inside int j is equal to 1 yes j less than is equal to 1 means 1 is equal, 1 is equal to 1 yes it will come inside this will be 1 right so this output will come when i is equal to 2 but for the i is equal to 2 the for this output we need to have the new line so after this internal for loop what we will do is we will just write one one blank line okay it's just a blank new line so that when i is equal to 2 it will come inside int j is equal to 1 j less than 2 yes because i is 2 j plus plus then it will print j means 1 right again now j became 2 j is equal to 2 2 less than is equal to 2 yes then again j plus plus it will print 2 then j became 3 j 3 j less than is equal to so 3 less than 2 no then it will come out of this internal for loop and it will go to the external for loop now uh, let's see if this logic works awesome this logic is working you are getting the output but only the problem what i see is there is no gap in between the numbers so to add the gap we can write here one plus double quote space okay this will provide a gap between digits now if you run that we can see that nice output right so we are getting the output that's how we should approach any pro uh, any any program right so this program in beginning it was tough i modified i wrote a two loop right now let me give you one more round of understanding so why i wrote a two loop Two loop because if you look at this program analyze the program 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 which means there should be a outer for loop which will tell the inner for loop that inner for loop how many times it should increase assume that this is i so you have i is equal to 7 right when you have i is equal to 7 your program should, should start from 1 it should print 1 then 1 2 then 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 4 it's like we are giving instruction how many times it should get executed that is the reason for loop will work as a instructor and it will instruct the second internal for loop like how many times it should increase that is the reason we are giving that j less than is equal to i so this i will decide when i is equal to 3 how many times internal for loop should execute when i is equal to 4 how many times data should get printed right and here i am just adding a space and why new line because after every print we need to have a new line so after again one two we need to have a new line for one two three right so we are adding a new line so that's how we can write the program for this pattern and it is the simple pattern we'll see lot more complex complex pattern going forward thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video if you like this video hit like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys thank you once again